Children, we're hoping the board will approve funding for us to build a new stage. Good news! We finally got a guest book for today's show. All right, good job. We knew you'd come through, Jessica. Who did you get? Julie White, a wonderful woman who's going to teach all of us and the kids at home how to line dance. <laughs> Won't that be fun? And it's good exercise and helps improve your coordination, too. Okay, you sold me. Does that mean you'll come and join in? What do you think, Mrs. Wilson? Care for a little line dancing after lunch? <laughs> <laughs> sure thing, Mr. Forbes. Way to go. <laughs> good morning, ladies. Good, good morning, morning, Casey. Casey. Did you hear about the guest for today's show? Yes, I bumped into Jessica in the hall. A line dance instructor, this is going to be neat. If all our staff are going to be line dancing, we might need to rearrange the interview area to make room. Good point, Maya. I'll talk to Dave and Jessica about it. I'm glad that's all under control. Stand by to roll the opening title, roll it, and take it. Good morning and welcome to the Kids Songs TV Show, the one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. And Biggles! We have a great show for you today, don't we, Erin? We sure do, Billy. Why don't you tell our viewers all about it? <laughs> Actually, I'd love to, but to be honest, I don't know anything about today's show. Thanks for telling the truth, Billy. Erin, maybe you better tell us about it since we just flew in from Biggleland. Sure thing. Today's show is about many different kinds of dance. Oh, good. I love dancing. That's great, because we have lots of dance to share with you. Pay special attention to our first video, Achy Breaky Heart, because a little later, Julie Wythe is going to come out and teach us how to do the Achy Breaky Line Dance. Don't tell my heart, my Achy Breaky Heart. You can tell. took the Kids Songs kids back in time to the 1950s and a neat diner called Cadillac Jacks. Hey, wait a minute! Ruby and I took the kids back in time. We used our magic powers to do it! I'm sorry, Billy. I didn't know that. It was great. We had all these neat 50s clothes and we jived to rock around the clock. What's that? A song. No, jiving. What's jiving? It's a really neat dance that goes with rock and roll music. Now, Billy, if you'll take us back to Cadillac Jacks one more time, we can all show everyone how great it was. My pleasure! One, two, three, clock, four, clock, robin. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, robin.
found it. I found how today's line dance started in the United States. Give me one more second. I think I just about found it too. What does the computer say? That today's line dance started with cowboys who wanted a dance they can be comfortable doing themselves without women. Exactly. When the cowboys were out on their horses, away from the city's dance halls and women, they'd line dance. So who knew? Which is faster, the computer or the books? Well, I think if you're really good at it, the computer is faster. Are you really good at it? Uh, sure, I plan it all the time. I'm an expert. Okay, Dima, see what you can find out on Western style quotes. Here you go. Uh, uh, no thanks. Actually, I better go check to see if the hay bales and wagon wheels arrived. <laughs> Me and my shadow is keyed and ready to roll. Thank you. Is everybody ready on the floor? Alex, Aaron, sit up a little straighter, please. We're back in three, two, and... Our next video stars a little girl named Stephanie and... Me! That's right, Billy. You and Stephanie are absolutely wonderful in this next clip. Why, thank you, Alex. To be honest, I thought I was pretty good myself. <laughs> Oops, I mean, I thought we were pretty good. I shouldn't brag. It's okay to brag a little because you and Stephanie have a lot to be proud of in your terrific performance in... Me, Me and, and My Shadow! shadow. earlier in the office. What do you mean? Well, you acted like you were Mr. Computer Genius or something. But just yesterday, you told me you never used a computer in your life. So? I exaggerated a little bit. Big deal. Deva, you lied to your friends. It is a big deal. Okay, kids. Let's work this out. Can I try to help? Sure. sure. Lindsay, we all know that Deva wasn't quite telling the truth when he said he was really good on computers. Right, Deva? Right. But sometimes, when kids want to impress their friends, they don't tell the truth. Lindsay, is it possible that you pretended you knew something that you didn't know, even just once? I guess it's possible. Okay. Now that we've admitted that we sometimes exaggerate to impress our friends, let's figure out what we're going to do to straighten this out. Okay. Hi, everyone. How's it going? Really well. How about you guys? We're in good shape. The interview's all researched and ready to go. Good. Now we can all relax until it's time to join in the Achy Breaky Line Dance. You're lucky. We're all going to be stuck in here making this show. 
That's not fair. Megan, we did get to be in the video, don't forget. That's true. Oops, look. Alex and Aaron are just sitting there waiting for a cue. And cue them. As we mentioned earlier, we're going to be line dancing pretty soon. So to get us in the mood, let's go to a hoedown and watch a Virginia reel. Hold it, hold it. What's a hoedown and what on earth is a Virginia reel? A hoedown is a really fun party in a barn with a country band and lots of dancing and food. Oh! <laughs> and a Virginia reel is an old-fashioned line dance where people make two lines and... Billy, if you watch the next video, you'll get the picture right away. All right. What's the song? Turkey in the Straw. Why is the turkey in the straw? It's not really in the straw. Why don't you use your magic powers and make the video play for us? Now that makes sense. As I was gliding on down the road with a tired team and a heavy load, I cracked my whip and the leader sprung. I says, day, day, and the wagon run. Turkey in the straw. Take her to the floor and we're gonna dance to Turkey, Turkey in the Straw. Turkey in the Straw. Turkey in the Straw. Go side oh and then see saw and promenade to Turkey in the Straw. Met Mr. Catfish coming down the stream. Say, Mr. Catfish, what did you mean? Caught Mr. Catfish by the snout and turned Mr. Catfish wrong side out. Turkey in the Straw. Okay, Ruby, I've thought about it. I just don't feel right knowing that I told my friends I was good on the computer when I'm not. What can I do to fix it? You're going to have to let Brooke and Ryan know, but I'm sure they will appreciate your honesty when you do. You know, Deva, I have a feeling that several of the kids don't know how to use the computer either. Okay, I'll go clear this up with them. I'm proud of you, Deva. Thanks, Lindsay. What's up next? The host introduced Peppermint Twist. We have such great songs today. I agree. Definitely some of my favorite. Did you have to practice a lot to learn the Peppermint Twist? No. Billy and Ruby just taught us how to do it with their magic powers. But we sure were tired after we spent the whole afternoon twisting. Coming to you in five, four, three, two. The twist was a very popular dance in the 1960s. In fact, there were several different hit records all about different ways to do the twist. But every twist dance involves twisting your body. Like this! That's the basic move, but you can get a lot fancier. Like we did in our video of the Peppermint Twist.
I kind of exaggerated when I said I was really good on the computer. I've never even used one. Don't feel bad. Neither have I. My school's getting some next year, and I don't know a thing about them. Would you like me to teach you both how to use them? Yes, yes please. please. Me too? Sure. How about we have a computer class after we're done taping? Great. Great. You know, it was a lot easier to admit that I messed up than I thought it would be. Good. Now let's hope learning computers is easy too. Next up is Billy and Ruby sing and play along. But they aren't in their studio yet. I'm sure they'll zap in on time. Let's hope so. Cue the host. If you're not up singing and dancing already, now's the time. Because as they do every day, Billy and Ruby are going to teach you a new song and dance. So let's join them now in their studio for Billy and Ruby's Sing and Play Along. Hi kids! Are you kids at home up and ready to dance? Good! Now shake your feet like this. And now shake your arms like this. And let's have a big stretch like this. Good. I'm feeling loose as a goose. <laughs> we have our big line dance coming up soon, so we're not going to work you too hard today. We're going to go for a nice and easy warm-up song. It's called Put Your Little Foot Right There. First of all, we need all of you to be standing with our hands behind our back like this. And the first thing we're going to do is point and tap like this. Like this? Whoa! <laughs> Try it like this. Oh, that's better, big sister. Roll the clip, big guy. Put your little foot, put your little foot, put your little foot right there. Put your little foot, put your little foot, put your little foot right there. Walk and walk and walk and walk. Put your little hand, put your little hand, put your little hand right there. Put your little hand, put your little hand, put your little hand right there. Walk and walk and walk and walk and turn. Walk and walk and walk and walk and turn. Walk and walk and walk and walk and turn. Walk and walk and walk and walk and turn. Aren't we formal? Put your little hip, put your little hip, put your little hip right there. Put Are we going to need all our body put bars? Your hip, I hope put not. Put your little hip right there. Walk and walk and walk and walk and turn. Uh -huh. Walk and walk and walk and walk and turn. Walk and walk and walk and walk and turn. Walk and walk and walk and walk and turn. Walk and walk and walk and walk and turn. Walk and walk and walk. Turn. Put your little foot, put your little foot. Very catchy song. Are we ready for today's line dancing segment? We've got the next song loaded and ready to play back. Everyone's in position and the graphic is cued. Great. Roll it and take it. One of the most popular segments on our show is Question Time, where our Lindsay Bartleson introduces us to fun and fascinating guests. And today's guest is definitely both fun and fascinating. She's Julie Wythe, and she's going to teach us everything we want to know about line dancing. Let's welcome Lindsay and Julie. Thank you, Alex and Aaron, for that wonderful introduction. And thank you, Julie, for joining us today. You're welcome, Lindsay. That's a great outfit you're wearing. Thank you. You're a line dancer, right? Yes. So can you tell us exactly what line dancing is? Well, line dancing is a form of dancing that's done in groups and in lines. Uh, it consists of very simple steps. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So could you teach me and some of my friends to dance? I would love to. So come on, you guys. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> sure. First thing we're going to do is you take your thumbs and you stick them in your britches. And that's part of the cowboy attitude that is one of the things that makes country line dancing so popular. Go ahead. We're going <laughs> to... We're going to start with the grapevine, which is the combination I told you about earlier. We're moving to the right. So you step out on the right foot, cross the left behind, out on the right, and then you stomp. Okay? Moving on, you're going to rock your hips to the left, to the right, 
to the left. Now you want to keep your cowboy attitude, okay? Now we're going to do a turn, and we're doing a turn to the left, but it's a three-quarter turn, which means we'll end up over the right shoulder. Now we're going to do it like we're on a skateboard. So you touch, you take your right foot, you're going to touch it back, and you're going to use your right foot to push yourself to the left, right foot forward again to continue pushing to the left, and then stomp the right next to the left. From there, we're going to take three steps back, starting with the right foot. Back on the right foot on one, back on the left on two, back on the right on three. And now we're going to do a push turn, which means you're going to kick your left leg out and we're turning to the left and throw your hands out. Woo! Woo! <laughs> two steps back now, back on the left and back on the right. And now we're going to get on our horse, starting with the left leg. So get on your horse to the left and get on your horse to the right. And then we're going to do hips again. Your hips go to the left, to the right, to the left. How's that? Okay, you ready to try to do a song? Yeah! All right, let's have some music. Thumbs in place. Ready? Five, six, five, six. Here we go. Right, two, three, and hips. Now your turn. Back, two, three. Three steps back, and ready? Woo! Back, and yee-haw! Rock, rock, rock. <laughs> Very good. Shall we try it again? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Rock, rock, rock. Now your turn. Back, two, three. Three steps back and kick. Woo! Back to open high. All right. Good job. You guys did a great job. Thank you so much for joining us today, Julie. We had a great time. Thank you, and thank you for dancing with me. You're welcome. Julie was a wonderful choice as a guest. Mr. Forbes and Mrs. Wilson certainly seem to agree. I've never seen them having such a great time. One last song and we can go to Brooke's computer class. This is going to be neat. Okay, Casey, do you want to get the host the cue? Yes, ma'am. Cue. We have time for one more song, and it's a lot of fun to march to. Like this. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Yeah, that's the song. The old New Orleans favorite, When the Saints Go Marching In. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in. Oh, when the show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids, and Biggles! That's us! See ya! See ya! Bye! You know, line dancing really works for me. It really works for me, uh-huh. <laughs> you looked really good out there, Mr. Forbes. Well, thank you. You too, Mrs. Wilson. Yeah, I was having fun. <laughs> Great show, kids. My little buckaroos, I guess we'll see you tomorrow then, Waha. Uh -huh. <laughs>